What is the purpose of work for employees and leaders? It's the same thing. I'll explain that in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimus Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and employee performance in the workplace. There is a purpose to work, and of course, at the foundation, it's to survive. I mean, I had a, a recent video not too long ago about the hierarchy of needs according to Maslow's uh, model. And at the bottom, we have our survival needs. But most of us meet those needs. I mean, that's what uh, a paycheck does, work done. But our needs go beyond that. And at the top of that pyramid uh, is self-actualization. So we want to move from just survival to self-actualization. Self and so the purpose of work is really to grow. And to grow means that certain things need to be put in place. If you think of a tree in nature, and I just went for a walk uh, in a beautiful nature park, and it's the month of May and nature has exploded, everything has turned green, it was actually raining, but the trees were covering the path and I didn't even get that wet. It was raining pretty hard. So in order for the trees to provide that protection, they need to keep grow, growing and sprouting their leaves. And when they stop, when the tree starts to die, everything starts to decay. And it's the same thing for human beings. We need to keep growing. And so the purpose of work is to provide that opportunity for growth. And if we're not growing, then we're starting to decay. And that's not good for a human being. Uh, when we start decaying, our brain slows down, our metabolism slows down, we invite disease because we're not as resilient. But on the contrary, when we do grow, then we eliminate decay and we start to grow our wings. We become more resilient. We become more agile. That's a word that's used a lot in teams in process improvement is the ability to be agile. Uh, we become more adaptable. That was uh, what I talked about in another recent video on change management, that the process of change management brings with it certain uh, fears or excitement, depending uh, if you see change as uh, an opportunity or a threat. You know, people that are more optimistic will embrace change more easily. Those that are more um, see the glass half empty or pessimistic uh, will uh, question change more before just accepting it. Of course, we all want to know what the change is about. Uh, but when you're growing, you're able to adapt better. You're able to be more agile, more resilient. And this is what we need. This is our nature. It's not uh, something we need to learn. Children, when they're very young, infants, want to grow. They want to be like their older siblings. Um, they, when they fall down, they get up, they want to walk. This is part of the growth pattern. And it should continue throughout our lifetime, and especially in the workplace where we spend so much time. So it's up to each person to make sure that you're growing. And what happens when we stop growing is that we don't see opportunity for us in, a, in our workplace with our, with our job. So we then seek out other opportunities. I did a video about um, when the best time to source employees if you're 
uh, having a hard time filling jobs, you want to go out and source people on maybe LinkedIn. And I found out through my research that people are tending to change jobs every four years. And it's because the opportunity for growth uh, sizzles out. They, they don't see it anymore. So how can you keep yourself current? Uh, everybody has responsibility to grow, but the organization also needs to be mindful of that, the leaders, and make sure that they're giving people opportunities for growth. In some jobs, it may be more routine. Take an accounting job, uh, accounts payable clerk or receivables, that's doing a lot of routine or a data entry clerk. You know, the, the job can become very routine and maybe seem like there's no opportunity for growth. So the business owner, the leader, the manager needs to be mindful of that and provide those opportunities where um, people can have new challenges. Providing challenge and coaching people through those challenges is one way to provide growth. Hold, holding training programs on a variety of topics, even inviting health uh, practitioners to come in and teach maybe yoga or mindfulness or whatever. Uh, having financial advisors uh, come in and teach people about better managing their finances. Whatever way, even physical activities like yoga, other types of physical activities, uh, maybe going out for group walks where people can exchange outside where the air is fresh and you know they can uh, build relationships that way. So not only are you helping people grow with you know keeping them moving, but they're establishing uh, new relationships if you get two teams together walking or whatever. So there's so many things you can do. And it's an opportunity actually to sit down with your teams or develop ad hoc teams and come up with ideas. What can we do to continuously help people grow? And keep in mind that a business is like a tree. It has to grow, it has to keep sprouting its, its leaves and, and grow and provide that shelter uh, and that nourishment that it takes from the soil and gives back. It's part of the whole cycle of life. And an organization, a company, goes through those stages of growth and it's fueled by people. So if people are growing, the organization can grow. You can't automate or have these systems. There's people that make those decisions and have to implement it. So if people are growing, uh, not only technically, but holistically in all facets of their lives at work, then the organization can benefit from that and it'll fuel ongoing and future growth. So as a leader, if I'm talking to leaders, what can you do to foster that growth and make it so that people see it as a benefit, not something you're forcing on them. And uh, if you're an employee, what can you do to take responsibility for your own growth? Maybe it's doing things outside of work, not expecting all that growth to come from work itself. So I hope this message resonates with you and you'll consider what can you do to grow and what can you do as a leader to help your people grow? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some of the related videos. There's one recommended for you right now. Um, thank you for listening and we'll talk again soon.